Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I last uh, filmed. I came home from vacation about a week ago and was waiting to get um, the new protocols from my new coach. So big changes. Um, if you're not familiar with my journey, I'm Cindy and I'm turning 50 this year and this is my um, lifelong <laughs> goal to get stage ready to compete in a bodybuilding competition and I'm on the path um, so this new coach that I hired um, has put together a gut protocol for me so I did a GI map test uh, before I left on vacation and it showed that I have SIBO which I already knew that I had. I had been treated for SIBO both naturopathically and by a conventional doctor over a period of about a year, three years ago, had a recurrence and just really could never resolve the SIBO and just have been living with it ever since. Sometimes it's worse than other times, but it had gotten worse again after being on a pretty, um, not rigid, but um, my diet had gotten very... Um, repetitive when I eat the same foods a lot and higher protein foods the SIBO symptoms tend to get worse so I have been doing that for the last several months and I've noticed more bloating more symptoms so I do have SIBO confirmed by the GI map test I also have H. pylori and candida so a lot going on in my gut so I hired this new coach for a full year jumped in with both feet and he will be managing my health meaning my gut um, health as well as my hormone health so he'll be taking over my HRT and he will also be preparing me for the stage so yeah so I hired him for a year um, it was quite expensive it was an investment but I think one of the things I've learned with hiring coaches is that if they're not looking at you holistically and you're having a lot of digestive symptoms or hormone symptoms they're not really able to guide you and help you and I thought it would just be great to sort of have one-stop shopping instead of having someone in charge of my hormones and then my doctor and then my coach all trying to manage my health. Um, it just seemed to make really good sense to me to hire somebody who's a functional medicine practitioner, can prescribe, can also um, do the supplements for me and just is really managing my overall health. So I'm excited about it. So I finally did get the protocols yesterday um, they're quite complicated. There's a lot of moving parts in terms of supplementation um, and medications. So he does um, either a completely supplement approach or you can choose a hybrid approach that includes antibiotics. I chose that hybrid approach because I have done the full supplement path with SIBO and I found the die-off symptoms were just horrendous. So I wanted to try to, first of all, accelerate the healing. So when you do the antibiotics, it does cut down the total time of protocols that you have to be on. So that was what I opted for. So I will be starting with supplements, going through sort of a detox phase, then going through the killing phase, um, and then the rebuilding phase to get my gut bacteria back healthy. So there's like multiple layers. Every two weeks, sort of my supplements and medications change and total time for the gut protocol is probably about 10 to 12 weeks so it's quite extensive he's rewritten all of my meal plan um, my workout plan um, and basically everything else so what isn't changing is that i'm staying on no cardio um, in fact he wants me to lower my steps usually i take about 10 to 12 thousand steps so he wants that to be no more than seven to nine thousand during this healing phase. So I will have to be judicious with how much I walk the dog and just, you know, walk around in general. Um, I am getting kind of bored of not having cardio, but that's what he's prescribed. The meal plan is um, lower in protein than what I've been on. Um, no dairy, no gluten. It's a pretty bare bones meal plan, um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, coconut oil is the fat that he put in there for me so not as much like nut butter things like that um, very low in fiber so very little 
uh, vegetable content where I was eating more vegetables before. That's probably gonna be hard for me because I like the volume aspect of vegetables, but I know that that fiber can definitely aggravate SIBO symptoms. So at least for the healing phase, very low in fiber. Um, even things like I don't have oatmeal in my plan, I have cream of rice um, or rice cakes or jasmine rice, so just very low fiber content. Um, and then the training that's going to be the biggest blow for me is that he put me on a very low intensity three day a week split where I'm supposed to leave four reps in reserve on every exercise, meaning I'm not going even close to failure. So it's like a major deload. Um, it's three days of like two or three working sets per exercise. So just it's about half the volume of what I've been doing. So it's a big blow to me just because the gym is very much an emotional, psychological outlet for me. And I really like pushing in the gym, but I also want to heal my gut to move forward with this uh, get past this gut phase so that we can then move on to hormones and a build for the stage. So how does this change my timeline? It may change my timeline um, for a show. I had been targeting April, May, June of next year. Um, it looks like we'll get through the gut protocol if everything goes well by the end of October of this year. Um, which will get me just past my birthday. And then we could enter into a hormone and building phase. So getting my hormones optimized and starting to build calories, build back up my training to five days a week. Um, and then I guess whenever he says I'm ready to start a prep, we would start then based upon the pictures I sent him when I got back from vacation. He said he thinks 20 weeks for a prep. Um, so... That may put my timeline into May-ish or June if he thinks I'm ready at the beginning of the year to start a prep, but it's a very short building phase. And given that I'm taking a step back from training now, I'm really giving up the potential to put on lean tissue over the next few months to heal my gut. So yeah, um, it's, a, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but I do think this is the right way to go about things. And even if it means I compete later in the year next year, I think it's worth it. So that's kind of what's going on. I have a trip to visit family scheduled at the end of this week. So I'm not actually gonna, and I have to buy all the supplements and get everything ready. So I'm not actually gonna start on this protocol until Monday, August 7th. And then I'll be checking in weekly with my coach. And I don't know if he will make adjustments over this healing phase or not based upon my pictures and my check-ins. Um, but I will of course share all of that with you. I'll share with you any changes in our discussion of timelines or anything like that. But I do think job one is just to get through this healing phase and put as little stress on my body as possible. That's why there's no cardio. The steps are low. The training's low. It's just to really give my body a chance to heal and be in rest and digest mode instead of, you know, pushing with intensity and trying to grow right now. So that is the plan. And I will be back um, once I start on the new plan and kind of let you know how it's all going. Uh, if you're new here and you're enjoying this content and you want to watch my journey to the stage, maybe learn something about how you prepare um, for a bodybuilding competition in your 40s, 50s, 60s, um, please do subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. It helps me out a lot. I am trying to grow my channel. I do want to help people on their own fitness journeys. I am a personal trainer. I'm also um, certified in um, health coaching, nutrition coaching, and eating psychology. And I love everything about training and nutrition. <laughs> I really think um, it's the greatest thing, greatest act of self-care is to take care of your body, um, especially as you age. And I never think it's too late to start. I don't think there's ever a bad time to start. Um, and it's better to take small steps and really start to incorporate these good daily habits of exercise, movement, stretching, um, and eating in a way that really nourishes your body instead of breaking it down further as we age. So I'm here for all the things. If you are too, I hope you will follow me along on my journey. See you next time.